Your 300 milliliter cup of coffee is too hot to drink when served at 92 degrees Celsius. What is the mass of an ice cube taken from a negative 15 degrees Celsius freezer that will cool your coffee to a pleasant 58 degrees Celsius? So we have our coffee cup. Uh, we have 300 milliliters, so coffee is equal to 300 milliliters and we want the mass of this so we'll say this is M so we it's important to note that one milliliter of water because our coffee is essentially mostly water is equal to one gram of water so since we have 300 milliliters of water we can also say that we have 300 grams of water and now 0 0.3 kilograms of water or coffee. We say that the temperature initially is 92 degrees Celsius and we want it to come down to 58 degrees Celsius. So T final is 58. Now the um, C for water is going to be 4190 and that is joules per kilogram K. So now we have an ice cube. Change colors here. So we have an ice cube and that has a mass of, we don't know because that's what we're looking for, and that has initial temperature negative 15 degrees Celsius because it's taken from the freezer and it's going to melt and go to a final temperature of 58 degrees Celsius. Now since ice is solid it's going to have a different specific heat which is 2090 and let's see if there's anything else. I think that should be it. Alright so now we're going to be using one of the charts we've had in the past questions. Let's draw it real quick. So we're going to have this phase change chart. So the ice cube is down here at negative 15 degrees Celsius. Negative 15 degrees Celsius. We're going to take it up to zero. It's going to then come all the way over until all of it is melted and then take it up to 58 degrees Celsius. Our coffee is up here, let's say this is 98, and it's going to come down to 58. So we're going to have an M C delta T for the ice melting and then it's going to change phase from solid to liquid and then we're going to have another temperature change from zero up to 58 and then for the coffee it's going to be cooled from 98 down to 58. So energy is conserved here so all of these are going to be added together and equal zero. So let's do that. We have MC delta T for ice plus M times the latent heat of fusion. And then we're going to add MC delta T for the water. And then the delta T for the coffee right here is going to give us a negative delta T because the final minus initial. So let's bring the negative from that out front to a negative mc delta t, and all that's equal to zero. Now if we add over the, the uh, mc delta t for the coffee, we get mc delta t for ice plus mass times LF for the water plus mc delta t of the water equals now mc delta t for the coffee. And we want to know what the mass of the ice cube is. 
So if we now, we want to isolate this, so let's bring over, or actually, I lied, and not bring anything over. If we look at this, the mass for the ice cube is going to be the same for all of these. So now we can factor out the m. So now mass times C delta T for ice plus the latent heat diffusion plus C delta T of water is equal to MC delta T for the coffee. Now we divide both sides by all of this will give us the mass of the ice cube. So M is equal to MC delta T for coffee all over C delta T for the ice plus latent heat fusion plus C delta T for the water. So let's plug everything in. So the mass of the coffee is 0 0.3 kilograms. We're going to multiply that by water specific heat, which is 4190. And then we're going to multiply that by the change in temperature, which in this case is 92 minus 58. The reason I did 92 minus 58 is so that we get a positive value here because we already took care of the negative from the change in temperature up here at the top whenever we brought it out front. So now all of that divided by, and that will be in Kelvin, so that divided by C of the ice, which is 2090. times the change in temperature of the ice, which is 15 to zero, so that'll be 15 Kelvin. And then we're going to add that to the latent heat of fusion, which from your constants page is 3.33 times 10 to the fifth. And then add finally C delta T for the water, which is 4190, times the change of temperature for the water, which is 58 Kelvin. So doing that all in the calculator gives us 0 0.07037, and that's giving us a mass, and we put all the standard units into our equation, so it's going to give us standard units out, so this is in kilograms. But we want grams, so let's move the decimal place over three, so we have as our final mass, our final answer, the mass of the ice cube that we want is 70.3, I think I wrote this wrong, I think I forgot a six, three, six, seven grams, rounded is 71 grams for our ice cube.